Hi, we're out on the range, so please bear with gunfire you hear in the background. And today is a Gila, bear with the pronunciation, a Gila 12 gauge mini shell, part two. In part one, I was able to show that the Aguila buckshot mini shells are not as powerful as conventional two and three quarter inch 12 gauge buckshot, but for a lot of applications, they're probably powerful enough. I was also able to show that in some auto loaders and pumps, the mini shells won't cycle correctly. A lot of shotguns weren't made to cycle ammunition that short. Well, that led to a lot of questions about an adapter that allows your pump shotgun to shoot the mini shells. Using an adapter so that my shotgun can shoot a particular type of ammunition, to me that's counterintuitive to what I'm doing. But a lot of people asked, and a viewer was nice enough to send me an adapter, thank you very much, so today we'll give it a try. Before we go any farther, let me show you a close-up of what this adapter looks like. This is a Mossberg Model 500 shotgun, and yes, this is an aftermarket stock. And this is your Opsol mini shell adapter. It takes seconds to squeeze it into the gun and even less time to take it back out. Now I have seen another type of adapter for the Mossberg. I haven't had a chance to work with it, but from what I've seen and the feedback I've gotten, it did not look promising. This Opsol adapter works for at least the 12 gauge version of the Mossberg 500, the 590s, the Mavericks, and the Shockwaves. But that brings up the question, are there similar adapters for other pump shotguns like your Ithaca Model 37, your Winchester 1200, your Remington 870? And the only thing I can tell you is I've done what I thought was extensive internet research, and if anybody's making such a thing, I couldn't find it. With the adapter in place, you can't load conventional ammunition into your shotgun, but as you can see, it's not obtrusive in the least when trying to load the mini shells. However, the real question is, does it work when we're trying to shoot the shotgun? Let's find out. There's one hang up already, but let's keep going. Only one hang up in 12 shots. That might be good, maybe not so good. Oh, and it also increases the capacity of the shotgun from 7 plus 1 to 12 plus 1. Now the question was asked, will the Aguila mini shell slugs operate correctly when the adapter's in place? But there's also the question of what kind of performance are we getting out of those slugs? Well, I'll see if I can answer both of those at once. I've got the chronograph set up at 7 yards. I have my Mossberg loaded with the Aguila mini shell slugs. Let's see how they do. 951. 877, 792, 825, 883, 1,081, 825. And it would appear they cycle just fine through the shotgun. Now let's go crunch the numbers. Well, we crunched the numbers and the Aguila gave us a mean velocity of 890 feet per second, which is a little disappointing considering the box advertises a velocity of 1,250 feet per second. But still, how does that 890 feet per second compare to conventional 12 gauge slugs? Well, now I've got my adapter out and I have my Mossberg 500 loaded with Remington green and yellow box 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch 1 ounce rifle slug. Let's chronograph these. 1,528, 1,478, 1,461, 1,472, 1,479. Now let's go crunch those numbers. Well, I crunched the numbers, and as where the Aguila gave us a velocity of 890 feet per second, the Remington gave us a mean velocity of 1,483. That's 593 feet per second more. That's a lot more. An interesting note, too, is that the Aguila has advertised on the box a velocity of 1,250. So it's delivering 360 feet per second less than advertised. As where the Remington has an advertised velocity on the box of 1,560 feet per second. So it's delivering a mean of 77 feet per second less than advertised. 360 less than advertised, 77 less than advertised. 
I think that tells us something about Aguila and Remington. But all these numbers are just numbers. How will this translate into effectiveness on a target? Let's see if we can do a simple demonstration of that. So what we've got here is our $2 concrete blocks. And I'll go back 15 yards and I'll shoot the target on your left with the Aguila 12 gauge mini slugs and the target on your right with a conventional 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch slugs and we'll compare the results. So it would appear with our concrete blocks that significantly less velocity meant significantly less effect. I also had a malfunction while I was trying to feed the Aguila ammunition. And I missed with one of the Aguila shells. That was really embarrassing. When I missed that concrete block with the Aguila mini slug, that could have been just me. Or it could have been the ammunition. I'm going to go back 20 yards and shoot my Mossberg 500 and I'll shoot the top target with the Aguila mini slugs and the bottom target with the conventional 2 and 3 quarter inch slugs. Let's compare the results. I fired five shots and you may notice there's more than five impacts. Some are the slugs, some are the wads. How do you tell the difference? This impact here is a nice, round, definite hole. This lower one, I can push the paper back into place and the hole's almost non-existent. That's a wad. This is a slug. So as near as I can tell, the five slug impacts were one, two, three, four, five. And that's not necessarily in the order that I fired them. Granted, I was shooting 20 yards, offhand with a smooth bore gun that didn't have sights, just a bead. But even when I take all of that into account, this is still what I would consider a very poor group. So I'll go back 20 yards and I'll shoot the lower target with the conventional 2 and 3 quarter inch slugs, and let's see how the results compare. and there's our five shots. You'll see they're a little high, but that gun pattern's a little high with slugs. So it would appear that our two and three quarter inch 12 gauge slugs are not only more powerful than the Aguila mini slugs, they're significantly more accurate. In part one of our discussion of the Aguila mini 12 gauge shells, I said that they had a very narrow niche, and that would be for people who have single shot or double barrel shotguns, and they only have 12 gauge, and they need a lower recoil ammunition and don't have the ability to go out and get other shotguns like a 410 or a 20 gauge. That seems like a really narrow focus. Well, some people pointed out to me other uses for the Aguila mini shells, one of those being as a training aid. Again, if all you have is a 12 gauge and you're starting out a novice shooting a shotgun, you want something with less recoil. Okay, except that I paid $20 for this box of 20 rounds. Just today I paid less than $6 for this box of 25 rounds. Now this is 12 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch ammunition so you don't need the adapter. And it's 2 and 3 quarter gram equivalents and 1 and 1 8 ounce of shot. As compared to what would be called a more standard load like this which has 3 and 3 quarter gram equivalents and 1 and a quarter ounce of shot. In shooting these two ammunitions side by side there was an almost imperceivable difference in recoil. So just as a training aid, I think there are better choices than the Aguila ammunition. Something else someone pointed out to me was that because it can turn a shotgun like this one from a capacity of 7 plus 1 to a capacity of 12 plus 1, that the Aguila shells would be really useful for three-gun competitions, various types of shooting competitions. That sounds great, again, except, and this is just my opinion, I've done a pretty fair amount of competition shooting. And to me, the competition is not the end-all, be-all event. It's 
training and practice for what would be the real event like police or security operations, military operations, home defense, or hunting. And so if you're going to train with 12 plus 1 and then switch to what you call real ammunition for whatever you're doing in your daily life and only have 7 plus 1, I think you're doing yourself a disservice. Now the main focus today was this Opsol adapter and it's very easy to install and it seemed to work marginally. It did improve the reliability in the pump shotgun, but we still had several malfunctions. So it's more reliable, but not really what I'd call truly reliable. So it puts me right back to my original thing was, it seems that the Aguila mini shells have a very narrow niche. So as always, don't try this at home on what you call a professional, and thanks for watching Aguila 12 gauge mini shells, part two.